Ever wondered how wind affects an aircraft landing and how do pilots perform a crosswind landing? There are three main types of wind that affect an aircraft, headwind, tailwind and crosswinds. Headwind is wind that is blowing against the aircraft direction of travel, a wind from the front. Tailwind is a wind that is blowing in the same direction as the aircraft's travel, a wind from the back. Pilots will always prefer to land into a headwind. A headwind will reduce the ground speed of the aircraft, allowing a shorter landing distance, increasing safety margins. This also reduces the wear and tear on aircraft brakes during deceleration. A crosswind is a wind blowing perpendicular to the direction of an aircraft's travel. Crosswind can cause aircraft to drift sideways from the intended flight path, making it challenging to maintain the runway centerline. Pilots usually use the crab or wings level technique for crosswind landings. Pilots apply a drift correction, pointing the nose of the aircraft into the wind, approaching the runway slightly sideways, hence the name crabbing. The crab angle compensates for the drift caused by the crosswind. An example of a crosswind from the left, notice our heading is pointing into the wind, but the aircraft flight path shown as the green diamond is aligned with the final approach course. Just before touchdown, pilots have to decrab the aircraft using the rudder when flaring to ensure the main gears touch down parallel to the runway. I hope you learned something new.